Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. In today's video, I have the highly requested Pixlr 3D text tutorial for you guys. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make it in Pixlr. So if you guys aren't familiar with my channel or Pixlr, um, it's basically like a free version of Photoshop and you guys don't have to download it as well. It's kind of just browser based. So it's really, really nice. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how to like make that in Pixlr for pretty much like any project you guys may need it for. So make sure to subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. And also I do a lot of other Pixlr tutorials um, kind of like some gaming, but I will leave a full playlist link in the description to all of the rest of the Pixlr tutorials on my channel because I do upload a lot and they kind of get lost in the uploads. So I will leave a full playlist link in the description to all of those. And then if you guys are regulars here on the channel and you guys already are pretty familiar with a lot of the tools, I will have timestamps as well when you guys are scrubbing through the video or in the description as well if you guys kind of want to sift through it and find like certain parts that you need more help on because it is kind of a tedious process to make 3D text on Pixlr, but I think it's worth it. And if you guys practice enough, you guys can make it look really, really good. But with all that being said, if you guys end up upgrading to Photoshop in the future, I will leave a link to a tutorial from Seiso, which is one of my favorite designers and somebody that I actually watch all the time. He did a really, really good Photoshop version of it. So go watch that video if you guys want help with that. And with that being said, let's go ahead and just jump into today's tutorial. All right, so the very first thing, as you guys could probably expect, is we're gonna head to Pixlr E. Um, I'll have a link to this as well in the description if you guys don't wanna type it into your browser. We're gonna go to Create New, and then we're gonna go to Full HD, or you guys could do 1280 by 720, or you guys could even go as small as 800 by 600, depending on what size you guys want the text to be. I think I'm just gonna go to 1280 by 720 to give me enough room. I feel like it'd be better for you guys to just go larger regardless, because you're gonna end up probably shrinking it anyway. I'm gonna name it 3D Text and I'm gonna go to create. And then the first thing you guys are gonna wanna figure out is what font that you guys want to use. Now I will link the font, the exact one that I will use in today's tutorial in the description. Um, so you guys can go ahead and download that. I also have a full tutorial on how to get fonts. Um, if you guys wanna check that out as well, but if you guys want to download it, go ahead and just head to that link again in the description, download the font that I have here, click on this uh, text tool, and then we're gonna go to add text right up here in the top left. And then we're gonna hit this drop down arrow right here and we're gonna click add local font and then you guys can just find that font file that you need. And if this is where you guys are getting messed up, make sure to again, go to that video that I have. Um, I'll link it again in the description for help. Double click that and then it will automatically bring up your font into this list. And the name of the font that I actually did use is Luckiest Guy. Now specifically, you guys are gonna want boxy fonts just like this one. Um, something like the Fortnite font actually works very well as well, just because it is more of like a boxy font. It's gonna be way harder for you guys to create shadows and to create edges if you guys don't have a boxy font or it's very like I don't know like I have a font like if I for example if I go to like this something like this this font will be like you know pretty much impossible without like something that will automatically give you 3d um, which Pixlr really doesn't have because it is again a browser based kind of graphic software but we're gonna go ahead and go back to our luckiest guy text um, and we're just going to type in whatever your guys's name is um, as you guys can see in the thumbnail I just did um, kind of like text, um, kind of like as an example, obviously for the thumbnail, but I will do my actual name here and give you guys kind of like a good real life example. I'm just gonna put ice right here because it does kind of give me a C, which can be kind of hard making it 3D. But the first thing I'm gonna do obviously is choose the color. Now I will give you guys a color palette um, as well in a Google Drive in the link in the description if you guys wanna use the exact colors that I'm using in this video. To do that, all we're gonna do is go to layer, add image as layer, and then we're gonna find that text thing that I did include in the description, which is right here and I'm just gonna kind of put it off into this left corner here um, to kind of get it out of the way now the first thing I'm gonna do again is to double click it with the text tool I'm gonna go to the text tool again just to make sure I'm on it I'm going to hit the fill color I'm gonna click the little temperature thing right here kind of looks like a temperature gauge and I'm going to um, just kind of grab this orange from the top of the text just because I kind of want a very similar color and then I'm gonna go to size and I'm gonna just gonna drag this up a bunch to get it kind of as big as I can kind of fit it in here just so it's easier to work with. And then we kind of have that. Now, the next thing we're obviously gonna do here is I'm actually gonna th click the three dots and I'm gonna lock this layer so I don't end up moving it at all. Then I'm gonna click the three dots again and I'm just gonna duplicate that same text layer. And you can kind of double click the duplicate um, we'll got to unlock it first. You can double click the lock button to unlock it, but um, I'm gonna double click it. But I'm gonna click the three dots and I'm just gonna name this one um, duplicate text, if I can type here. 
and then I'm just gonna take this one and I'm gonna again make sure the top one above it is locked so I don't end up moving it and I'm just gonna lower it a bunch and then I'm also gonna double click that and I'm going to click the fill and now I'm going to fill this one with um, a different color. It's just going to be a little bit darker than the top layer. I'm going to click again this little icon right here and I'm going to go down to this like brown color right here. And then I'm going to make sure I click that and it's going to select it right here. And then as you guys can see, it changes it as well. So I'm going to click X. So I also am going to move it just a little bit to the left as well to give us a little bit more of like 3D dimension. Now, again, that that bottom layer is rasterized. So just make sure we're selected on it. I'm going to use a scroll wheel to zoom in as far as I can to be able to kind of connect these corners. And all we need to do is go to this lasso tool. And then the key thing is also to make sure you're on the polygonal version on the top left. And then again, make sure we're clicked on the bottom layer. And we're going to just go up here a little bit. We're going to zoom in as much as we can. And I'm going to click the corner here. And I'm just going to connect it to the bottom corner right here. And then I'm going to click again. I'm clicking every time I make a point and I'm going to click back at the original one. And it's going to create this little like diagonal type effect right here. And then all we need to do is go to the brush tool, go to the color, the top one right here, and then just click on it. And I'm going to kind of get this out of the way. And I'm just going to click right here on the exact bottom color and I'll click OK. And I'm just going to brush this in again, making sure my brush is at an opacity of 100%. And you guys can mess with the size however you want for the actual brush. But then I'm going to go to select, deselect. I'm going to zoom out. And as you guys can see, it just created more of like an actual edge. Now, all you need to do is do that for every single corner. I'll, I'll give you guys a little help again for one of them. And then it will have a little bit of a time lapse for the rest of them. Again, we're going to go back to the polygonal lasso. I'm going to zoom in as far as I can. I'm going to go to the corner here on the, on the top E. I'm gonna go underneath it. I'm gonna go right here. I'm gonna go back up. I'm clicking each time I create a corner. I'm gonna click back at the original point. And again, make sure I'm selected on the layer below the top one. It's very key. And then just brush it in here and just click select, deselect. And once you zoom out, it will look much better. And then I will give you guys a short time lapse of me doing the rest of them, and I will catch you guys there. All right, so we got the last corner filled in. I just gotta go to the polygon lasso again and just kind of get rid of this little spot. Then click the backspace to get rid of that and go to select, deselect. And as you guys can see, I have all of them done and it's already looking a lot much more like the actual one. Um, and actually it looks like I did um, mess up this top. I didn't finish this top corner either. So we're gonna do that real quick. And the best thing is, again, it's underneath, so you can go wherever over here. Um, it's just going to, you know, go underneath, color that in, select, deselect, and then we have that done. Now, all we need to do is the shadows. So what we're going to do for that is, again, make sure we're on the brush tool, and we're going to zoom in to one of the corners, again, like one of the first ones that we did here. So I'm going to go to the inside right here. I'm going to go to the polygonal lasso again, just like normal. I'm going to click right here, and I'm going to kind of create a little bit of a corner. I'm going to click over here. I'm going to click back here. I'm going to click again and it creates a little bit of a corner. Now what we're going to do here is key go to the brush tool and make sure these the softness is relatively high. Um, you definitely want it to be kind of anywhere from like 60 to 70 percent. This is going to be an area where you're going to have to like mess around with it a little bit. Um, we're going to go to size. We're just going to keep it at 40, um, maybe a little bit bigger here. Um, this step we're going to have this at about 15 to 20 percent i think and we're gonna click out of that now we're gonna go to the color and we're just gonna make it a tad darker than the actual color itself um, just a little bit of a darker brown i'm gonna click okay and then i'm gonna zoom in real far here and i just want to create a little bit of a shadow by you know having the opacity pretty low as well um we're just gonna click a little bit and create a little bit of a shadow here and if we zoom out and we go to select deselect we can see i kind of created a little bit of a shadow there and it looks a lot a lot better um drag the opacity up just a tad can't really see it as much as we want but we're going to go to the next one here clicking at each corner we really want to focus on these inner corner shadows i'm going to click this again and i'm just gonna create a little bit of a shadow 
select deselect i'm going to zoom out and that looks a lot a lot better already now the key shadows here are going to be kind of at these bottom left corners um we're going to go to the poly back to the polygonal lasso click on the corner um, of the top layer go and click on the corner of the bottom layer and create again that corner effect click there click again at the final spot go back to the brush tool and just create a little bit of a shadow right here and then go to select and deselect if we zoom out that looks really 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 good um, it already looks a lot better now we're gonna go to here and we're gonna click again click there click through the corner and we're gonna do the focus on a little bit on the left side here just do very minimal shadowing here give it a little bit of dimension select deselect and it already looks very very clean the c is really not going to need much shadows um you could go up to you know the top right here um you could go here you could you know go through click each time and then click here click here and we'll kind of just go through this whole thing and you could you know give it a little bit of shadow kind of on the top part kind of do some free some freehand shadows select deselect it does look a lot better it kind of really does bring out that 3d look that you do have so i'm just going to do a little bit of a time lapse of me finishing up the eye in the scene i'll catch you guys at the end All right, so we can kind of get rid of this old layer because we don't need it. But if you guys look over here, um, the letters are going to be, you know, obviously a little bit harder for you people who use, you know, letters like X in your name or letters kind of like T, I guess. Um, but make sure to focus on the shadows kind of underneath in the corners. Um, as you guys can see, I have shadows right here. Um, and then the X's are going to be a little bit harder, but just make sure you connect each corner um, either below or to the left of it. As you guys can see, I had to connect the corners right here, right here. And then obviously like up here as well um, and as you guys can see there's a little bit better of lighting over on this one and I'll show you guys how to add that right now just to kind of give it a little more of like that 3d look um, I'm actually just gonna hit backspace gonna get rid of that layer entirely and I'm gonna go to the top one I'm gonna click the three dots I'm gonna go do merge down and it's gonna make that entirely one layer as you guys can see I can also move it all around at once now all I need to do actually is go to add and I'm gonna go to empty I'm going to make sure I'm clicked on this top empty one. And I'm going to make sure again, I'm on that brown color and I'm just going to click once to add a little bit of kind of like this. I'm going to click again, make sure again, the op opacity is a little bit low and also the brush is really soft, gives it a really cool effect. Now I'm going to click on this top layer. I'm going to click this and then I'm, the little three dots go to the blend mode. I'm actually going to go to, I believe color dodge right here. And then I'm going to make sure I'm on color dodge. It adds a really cool effect. I'm going to exit out of that. I'm going to click this, the top one that you guys just made. I'm going to drag the transparency down a tad. And then I'm also going to click this one. I'm going to go to the bottom text. I'm going to go to select. I'm going to go to select pixels. And then as we have it, our full 3D text right here. Um, now all that's left to do to get it kind of into your project is to go to file and go to save. And the key thing is if you guys wanna put it into any project, just click the file name, name it whatever you want, and then make sure it's kind of kept at PNG. And again, when you create um, kind of like your background layer, I don't know if I mentioned it before, but just make sure your project is like a transparent project and has this kind of grid in the background so you guys know that it's gonna turn transparent when you guys save it. So just make sure again, it's clicked on there. Don't change anything really. Um, click download. If you guys found this video helpful at all, I would greatly appreciate it if you guys could hit a like on this video. Also drop a comment down below if you guys have any questions for me. And as always, if you guys are subscribed to the channel, make sure to subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. I have lots of other Pixlr tutorials coming really, really soon on the channel. So I'm super stoked for that. Thank you for watching till the end. I will catch you guys in the next video on the channel. Peace.